right there. 50 cows are awesome. You guys know 50 cows are awesome. You know I love 50 cows. We got the Ma Deuce, right? That 50 cows been around forever, World War II, everything. You know I love my Barrett 50 cow. I love a good 50 cow. This is a 50 cow chain gun. This thing is totally badass. How badass is it? I appreciate you asking. I'm going to get into it with the actual maker of this thing right after we give a big shout out to this week's sponsor. This week's video is sponsored by Gunspot. I think this is pretty cool. They're doing a giveaway of the Pit Viper pistol. That's the pistol that's used in the John Wick 4 movie. Now understand, that pistol retails for like $7,000, if you can even find one at all. all. Right. So start sharing, signing up, and subscribing. You do that at gunspot.fbstudios.com if you want to get in on that giveaway. But if you want to get in on all the other great things that Gunspot does, you do that by going to Gunspot spot.com all right hey guys welcome back i am here with chad day from daycraft systems man they named the company yeah. after you well they did you thank know, you very like much yeah founder <laughs> and ceo yes that's correct I, so your your company you make badass machine guns full auto that is just the coolest job in the world it is that is awesome all right um Everybody loves 50 cows. You go to any pictures from World War II, damn near, and they've got B-17 bombers loaded down with 50 cal Maw Deuces. They got quad Maw Deuce anti-aircraft guns on the half tracks in World War II. You fast forward all the way modern day, our desert mobility vehicles, our, our Humvees, our Strikers, this, that, and the other, we're all running the same Maw Deuce. Why has the Maw Deuce never been replaced? Because Modus is awesome, uh, and it still does everything we need it to do. But again, the technology is very, very dated. Uh, but it's needed to have been replaced for quite a while. But nobody, all these other companies have tried, and uh, they've just never been able to get it right. They haven't. Every time they think they've got it great, some desert mobility guy goes, "No, I need to be able to change barrels in less than a minute. I need to be able to do that." our operators would come back and say, no, I need to, you know, instead of it being five minutes to swap that barrel on this sexy French gun, we need to be able to do it in a minute, you know, a minute or less, you're in the middle of a gunfight. So there's always been a problem, always been a problem my whole career. It's, you just can't replace the Maw Deuce. I found a gun that can replace the Maw Deuce. This puppy is badass. Again, Chad, uh, I know you, it's, uh, what do you call this operating system? This is a chain driven operating system. It operates on a 24 volt DC electrically powered system. It's a chain gun. You're just not allowed to say chain gun. Well, that's patented and trademarked. So we call it a chain driven weapon system. Uh, that's cool. That's fair. That's, that's fair. We say the phrase chain driven or chain gun or whatever. Uh, I don't see any chain out here. I don't see any bicycle chain or not. I'm assuming there's a chain inside. There is, and that's what operates the bolt. Okay. Um, so you've, you've already pulled pins. We've released the cables. We'll just slide the back out. All right. I'm going to bring it down. All right. So if we look down in here, guys, there's a chain that runs basically like this around the bottom of it. Right. And then that operates the bolt forward and backwards as it runs the gun. Okay. It's literally that simple. Yeah. Where's the motor that turn that? So there's that a motor chain? on the other side on the bottom. Okay. That goes up through a, di a drive shaft on the drive gear, and then that drive gear operates that chain on a track. Very very simple design. I'm digging that. There were other in the past chain driven 50 cal's, but they always had a issue with. Uh, it requiring a special kind of linked ammo. That's correct. You don't have that problem here. We don't. So we you don't. can take the regular same, uh, what is the M9 links? That's these the normal links that have been feeding our Ma Deuces pretty well from the dawn of time. Correct. This will run the exact same ammo. It does. So you can take this, put it at any unit out there that already has these guns, these Ma Deuces, and they've already got all that ammo in the inventories, all your API, your tracer, your slap rounds, everything else. There's zero change in it. You can use the same ammo, but there's a lot of big improvements. Uh, just recoil right off the bat. What's recoil of this compared to the Modus? It's a third. 
a third. It's a third the recoil force of what the, the Ma Deuce was. Um, you'll notice guys never fire a Ma Deuce from the shoulder. Uh, it's because it's 1,200 pounds of recoil. 1,200 pounds. Uh, picture, picture Randy Rawhide Worth with a sledgehammer, a splitting ball, hitting you right in the center of your chest. That's, that's roughly 1,200 pounds. So this is... Roughly 400 pounds of recoil force. It's super pounds. controllable. We shot this yeah. thing off the vehicle and yeah. it barely shook the vehicle at all. It was a mount hooked onto an aluminum plate. On a lightweight vehicle. On a lightweight vehicle. Yeah. My Barrett would have been pulling at those nuts and bolts. And th this thing ran, it ran like a chain gun. It runs awesome, totally badass. Um, you were talking, we were talking earlier, what other calibers can you do this in? Well, this will be the, the base model and it will be multi-caliber for um, another kit that goes to a 338 Norma. Because US SOCOM, I think all yep. big armies looking at it too. Well, and it's going to become a NATO round NATO pretty round. soon as well, yes. Um, so. If you're not sure what we're talking about, uh, the, uh, the general purpose machine guns are basically going to be going to 338 Norma and that allows you a lot more range a lot more barrier penetration think like uh cockpit windows on commercial airliners uh, uh skyscraper windows br uh, brick walls things like that you're able to get through them but your guns are a lot lighter your ammo is a lot lighter than trying to ask guys to carry a 50 cal uh you know up a mountain so anyways the general purpose machine guns are going to that but this being uh, bird mounted, uh, vehicle mounted, whatever, you being able to just swap this, that's totally bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, you've got a lighter, a smaller version also. We do. So we have a 30 cal version as well. 30 so, cal so, chain gun. That's yeah. crazy. Yep. Totally crazy. I, I'm not allowed to say, I can say chain gun. You can. I can say chain gun. All you want. All right. Um, what about bigger? Can you go bigger? We can. We can go up to about 30 millimeter. I heard you had a 40, uh, 40 millimeter. You know what we do? We have this one scaled up a little bit bigger and it's, uh, it's to replace the Mark 19. Oh, and it's, so uh, cool. yeah, that it's, so it's, cool. uh, it's a 40 millimeter grenade launcher for the high velocity <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. So that'll be coming out later this year. Can you imagine, uh, running at this same speed, but you're lobbing 40 millimeter high explosive dual purpose rounds out there with little shape charges in them, just tearing up BMP threes and everything else. That, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. That is and totally it's interchangeable awesome. with this mount. So you can have a, a 50 on the mount or you can just swap it right out for the 40 millimeter. Nice. And I noticed your mount doesn't have the, um, the like, uh, they, I think they call it a soft mount. It had to have a recoil system built in. That's there. correct. We have all the soft mount built into the receiver. No so shit. all of our recoil and everything's built into the receiver. So I you don't need additional mounts and, and soft mounting for our weapons. Okay, system. so weight wise, uh, Maw Deuce, I don't remember the, I don't remember the weight, uh, but uh, the Maw Deuce on the soft mount, roughly 100 pounds. Yep, so apples to apples, that's kind of what we're looking at, is a Maw Deuce on a soft mount, uh, roughly 100 pounds. And when we load this on with 100 rounds of ammo linked up, we're right around 100 pounds. And you don't have, you don't need the soft mount. So we don't need the soft mount. Same yeah. weight yeah. as the Maw Deuce, but you've got 100, uh, 100 rounds with it. Um, I actually wrote it down over here, guys. Uh, your Maw Deuce is basically 84 pounds. This is 78 pounds. But you can't you can't run the you can't run a Maw Deuce on vehicles and stuff without that soft mount. So including that weight in it, yeah, you're looking 100 pounds. That is crazy. That is totally cool. Um, I like big guns. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, we're not going to go down that road right now. But what we will talk about is so the 25 millimeter. That means a lot to me. Uh, doing this in 25 millimeter is that going to rock the the vehicle around? So like our special, uh, our Green Berets running around with the General Dynamics, the uh, 1.1 vehicles, the flyers, yep. they're a lot lighter than the Humvees. Is that 25 millimeter gonna shake that thing around? Well, we redesigned it uh, and restroked it so that you know we got a softer recoil. So we cut the recoil in half from the existing M242. That recoil force is now half in our, our claw, 25 millimeter. So shorter stroke. Longer stroke. It's all in how you stroke it. It's all in how you stroke yeah. it. See, he, that's why he fits right in here. He really does. <laughs> that's Sorry. so awesome. All right, uh, the biggest gripe that we had with a couple of other guns, because you know, every time you go to 
SHOT Show or SOFIC or wherever, uh, every company's got something new that they say will replace this beautiful thing, uh, the Mardus, but um, the biggest gripes we had was, you know, um, it takes longer to do headspace and timing on this. How hard is it to do headspace and timing on this? This is designed so that you don't have headspace no and head timing. No headspace and timing, right. no. So that goes back to swapping the barrels on that one gun I was mentioning. It was over five minutes. And where that's important, guys, is like that remote weapon system on top of that armored vehicle. You're in the middle of a gunfight. you got to change barrels. you got to climb outside of the armored vehicle, and you're outside, you know, uh, feeling very exposed. And if it takes you five minutes in the middle of a gunfight to change a barrel, no, nah, nah, I, I don't want to do yeah. that. So uh, how long to swap a barrel on it's this It's very puppy? quick. You have a press, you press to release the barrel yeah. lock. You rotate the barrel, pull, pull the barrel out. out, put the new barrel in, rotate, that's it's locked. Un under and, a minute. That's, oh, guys, absolutely. That's much faster than the Mardus. And, you know, a lot of Mardus is you still have to go back and then set head, head space and timing. I know there are versions that you do not. Uh, for all my trolls in the comment section, I'm a little familiar with the Mardus uh, guys. All right. Um, it is a prototype, right? It, it is a prototype. Um, Chad, thanks for having us out, brother. I hope you it enjoyed it. Awesome. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And for my military guys out there, you need this. Trust me, you need this puppy. I wish I had this before I retired. This thing is totally badass. Y'all take care and shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.